but if 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 evolution is real and if there is this is constant <laughs> i don't know but it's 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 visible. i apologize like I you can measure it in certain animals you, you can you, measure adaptation yeah but there's no evidence that evol in fact i think we've kind of given up on the idea of evolution <laughs> the theory of evolution as articulated by darwin is like kind of not true right? in what in what sense well, in the most basic sense, the idea that, you know, all life emerged from a single cell organism and over time, and there would be a fossil record of that, and there's not. And there's not a fossil record <laughs> of uh, transitionary species, like species that are adapting to its environment. There's and tons develop. of record of right. adaptation, and you see it in your own life. I mean, I have a lot of dogs. I, I see adaptation in dogs, you know, through the sure. um, litter to litter. But... No, there's no evidence at all that none zero that zero. you know zero. people you know evolve seamlessly from a single cell amoeba. No, there's not. There's not. There's no chain in the fossil record of that at all, and that's why you don't actually hear people. Yeah, um, <laughs> it's super painful, right? And you it's know, so painful. It, the thing is, like, it's totally this tired creationist argument. He does um, go on to give a, the next 45 seconds that I had to be like, look, we're done with this is him saying that his own theory is that he is a creationist and that God created humans. And that's, yeah, that's like, it, which it's clearly not his theory in the first place, <laughs> yeah. um, but it's yes, also not exactly. his theory, right? It's just a, it's just a cop out. Um, yeah, no, it's bizarre. The, you know, the degree of confidence yeah. with which he uh, yeah. spouts this ignorant uh, bullshit is yes. really impressive, I have to say. It and, is. Um, even you could see, even Joe Rogan, it has this sort of, sort of confused look on his face, like, what do you? Really? No, the, like, how can you be saying? That? I saw a great diagram, which was the Zealots Corner on yes. the on the same post, which was like a hundred percent conviction, zero percent knowledge. Exactly. exactly. You know, and it's like, and that again, that podcast has like eight million views in yeah. twenty four hours. You I know, think what would be really interesting would be to ask. Uh, what evidence could possibly convince him, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, if you started a conversation like that with him, I, I think you would rapidly find that he would say no evidence would convince him. Because, yeah. for example, uh, there is, a, of course, a fossil record. There yes. is even a fossil record of things like particular kinds of bacteria uh, and so on. So, um, and, you know, but also the whole fossil thing is like, this is a hundred years ago argument. I mean, yeah. we have DNA, like the DNA yeah, record. Yeah. In fact, like, the molecular genetics didn't come up. I was like, it's bizarre because you yeah. know, if you, a, if you do, a, if you want to know if you're related to somebody, right? So you know, you do a paternity test or something like that, or you go on Twenty Three and Me and you find some relatives and cousins and so on. Um, well, that's evidence that you came from the, a common ancestor, right? Yeah. So if you find a third cousin on 23 and me then you had a common ancestor and the genetics very clearly shows that and no one would argue with it right yeah well you can do the same thing over millennia and you can yeah. do it over species so if you do it with humans and chimps and elephants uh you'll find that humans and chimps are clo more closely related to each other than they are to elephants yeah. and you can keep going and you get a perfectly consistent picture that's entirely consistent with the fossil record uh which shows that you know all of life operates on the same biochemical principles and has shared genes and a history of shared um ancestry that uh yeah well you know can't expect joe rogan to push back yeah uh, with that kind of evidence but it's so it's just that that's why i call it you know said it's such a tired argument you could have you know he could have been saying that in the 1950s yeah and people were with just as much confidence and with just as little evidence, you know, no evidence. So um, it's kind of funny that, that, you know, we're still having this argument. And of course, in, you know, in the U S in particular, the evolution one is, is um, religiously motivated. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Is that why you think that in the U S specifically that around the Bible belt area of the U S they're going to, you know, they're just using their confirmation bias to, to ignore yeah. all the evidence for evolution, which is, so obviously there, especially with molecular genetics and DNA, yeah, to say that the creationist it, perspective. Yeah, it really, really requires some it's mental insane. discipline yeah. to, to reject all of the evidence uh, yeah. that's yeah. involved. Because you have to reject geology and you have to reject the physics of things like carbon dating and you know but but I mean it's not just in the US, of course, there's lots of places where that are that are quite 
creationist, uh, Northern Ireland being one of them, actually. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, but it's just a, it's a it's a weird thing, and it's a the particular clip that you showed that though illustrates a trend these days where people are very willing to make claims that are just willfully ignorant. Yeah. Uh, with enormous confidence, enormous like, confidence. This idea, like, yeah. we don't, we're tired of experts. Uh, we don't he need. Said uh, we. The thing that annoyed me with that clip is like we've stopped believing in Darwin's theory of evolution. I'm like, who's we? Don't involve me in this. I hope not. I'm not, or you know, we're not involved in this. We. He's saying we like he has this unanimous group of people behind him, and they're all making this argument together. It's like I don't know who we is in this circumstance, but we. Yeah, and it's interesting, you know, to think of the audience for that. Um, how many people who don't have, you know, we we've got a biological uh, education, right? So we can judge that. But how many people listening to that exactly don't have that education? Who may not have had strong opinions about it, but they'll exactly. hear him. They'll hear him saying that we have moved on from Darwin or whatever, um, as if as if he's talking about the scientific consensus. Right? Yes, exactly. So it's a rhetorical move that unfortunately can be really effective. Yes, exactly. That's why I think, you know, I'm a, I'm a big free speech proponent. I am, you know, I believe that Tucker Carlson has the right to go on a podcast and say that. But sure. that's why I think it's our our duty and responsibility to react to it and say that this man doesn't know a shred about evolution or science or genetics or a thing, you know, and, and this video will certainly not get 7.5 million views, no. but you know, if there are a couple of hundred people see this and think Tucker Carlson doesn't know, doesn't know shit about this topic, then that's at least our duty here. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what I think? Um, I, so I completely agree. And I think, uh, you know, many scientists, when they're thinking about, you know, public outreach and science communication and so on, um, will think, OK, I say, I have a thing to say and I'm going to say it. And they say it and then they think, right, I did it. Yeah. Uh, but what they don't realize is that there's, there's people on the other side just don't stop. Right. Yeah. They're just going to keep saying he's going to say the same thing tomorrow. He's going to yeah. say the same thing next week and he's just go on and on and on and on. So, um, yeah, it, it, I agree with you. It does require um, some persistent engagement on the you know to to, to yes. get messages on the other side that that that, that just constantly debunk those kinds of claims yeah. and that and that at the same time provide a positive counter narrative that people can understand right yeah. say because it's that's the challenge right you know is to, is to you've got on the one hand complex nuanced subtle messages of provisional understanding uh, yeah. Where people are still arguing about little you know, little details, and on the other hand, you've got one sure single truth, nice yeah. and simple: we were created by God. Um, so, you know, in terms of what, it, it's not too surprising that that some people will lean towards the simple wrong answer, um, just because it's psychologically less taxing. Yes, 